College life offers plenty of chances to attend parties, campus events, and to hang with friends. This also means there will be opportunities to drink alcohol. The decision to drink alcohol or not can affect your college experience and personal well-being. It is a decision that confronts every student. About one-fifth of college students choose to abstain from alcohol, which is always the healthier and safer choice. Others drink infrequently and in moderation. However, roughly one-third of college students drink in hazardous ways, meaning for men consuming five or more drinks, or women consuming four or more drinks within two hours. If you do decide to drink alcohol, it is essential that you adhere to all state, local, university, and fraternal organization policies governing alcohol consumption. All laws must be followed. Most every fraternal organization has policies that prohibit underage drinking, common source alcohol, the purchase of alcohol with chapter funds, or members pooling their money together, the presence of alcohol at any recruitment or new member activities, the presence of hard alcohol at any chapter event, unless served by a licensed third-party vendor. Drinking infrequently and in moderation is considered low-risk drinking. It is the self-driven practice of intentionally limiting how much alcohol you will consume and spreading it out over a longer period. It is a smart way to help lower your risk of overconsumption of alcohol. Here are some tips for low-risk drinking. Tell a friend you plan to limit the number of drinks you will consume. The buddy system works. Eat before drinking. This can reduce blood alcohol concentrations by up to a third. Alternate between alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks and always drink plenty of water. Don't consume alcohol before going to an event. Pre-gaming is a dangerous practice and a major contributor to negative outcomes. Download an app that can help you succeed with your low-risk drinking plan, such as Drink Control Tracker, Drink Coach, and Saying When. Overconsumption of alcohol, especially hard alcohol, is hazardous drinking and is the major contributing factor to student injuries, hazing incidents, sexual misconduct, physical assaults, vehicle crashes, alcohol overdose, and even death. Hazardous drinking can ruin friendships, disappoint family, affect academic performance, and cause you to unintentionally sacrifice so much that it's important to you. When you are with others who are drinking, always be on the lookout for signs of alcohol overdose and never hesitate to act. Many students are inexperienced drinkers and do not understand consuming too much at one time can lead to alcohol overdose. If you see a friend drinking too much, intervene and stop him from doing so. Nearly all student deaths from alcohol overdose could have been prevented had a fellow student recognized the signs of alcohol poisoning and immediately called emergency medical services. The Gordy Center's PUBS acronym is a tool to help remember the signs of alcohol overdose. Puking while passed out. Unresponsive to pinching or shaking. Breathing is irregular, slow, shallow, or has stopped. Skin is blue, cold, or clammy. If a person has darker skin, their lips or nail beds may look pale. If you see even just one sign of alcohol overdose, or someone is passed out, semi-conscious, or unresponsive, don't play doctor. Intervene immediately and call 911. Never assume that anyone suffering from alcohol poisoning can sleep it off if left alone. Your decision to intervene could save a life. While waiting for emergency medical help, you should Lay the person on their left side. Raise the person's left arm above the head. Pull the right shoulder to gently roll the person toward you, guiding the head as you roll. Tuck the right hand under cheek to help maintain the head tilt. Drop the right knee forward to help hold the position. Always stay with the person until emergency help arrives. The decision to drink alcohol should not be taken lightly. It brings with it enormous responsibility. If your decision is to drink, be sure to follow all rules governing alcohol consumption at your university. And remember, for your own health and safety and that of your friends, practice low-risk drinking. Drink only infrequently and in moderation. Know the signs of alcohol overdose. Intervene immediately if a friend is in trouble and know how to provide aid. Educate yourself concerning alcohol use and abuse. More information on alcohol and alcohol use and abuse is available on the following websites. National Institute of Alcohol and Alcohol Abuse Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration Fraternal Health and Safety Initiative The Gordy Center at the University of Virginia 
If you feel your fraternal organization places too much emphasis on alcohol, contact the chapter advisor, the national headquarters, or the university fraternity and sorority advisor.